Hey everybody, welcome back to Goo TV Presents, streaming the Insanity Virgin series of Shadowrun Returns, where you see me see the content for the very first time. Continuing on with the Dead Man's Switch uh, main campaign, uh, we're about to enter the Penthouse Suite. On the last episode we had a lot of exposition, but uh, we're about to bust in on this place, so something tells me we're going to see lots more combat this episode. Stevie J's penthouse apartment might have been nice at one point in time, classic even, but now it's filled with neon tube lighting, broken down furniture, piles of rubbish, and crates containing who knows what. Still, compared to the rest of what you've seen, it's positively pal palatial. Uh, the only thing ma marring the penthouse's pseudo-luxury is a woman's cry of pain in the distance, followed by laughter, someone being tortured for another's pleasure. You step deeper into the apartment. Excuse me while I open my beverage. It's just a soda. I know, it's not real exciting, but what can I say? And I am ready for violence to ensue. We have gotten to the top floor. We have three karma... And it looks like right off the bat we're in combat. Um, let's say, can I spend karma now? Yeah, yeah. I totally want to spend karma. I'm going straight after more ranged combat. Um, <clears throat> might even put some into shotguns for shorter range. What's this? Kneecap. Plus one AP damage. Uh, six hit point damage can hit multiple target. I like that. That's only one point. We could buy that. Critical... P yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's... What's this? Let's let's bump up quickness, which will allow us... Overwatch. Ooh. I want that. Uh, and then we'll... Buy another shotgun point. Confirm. All right. We're ready. Let's see what we see. Oh, there is a dude there. What is this? Is this Overwatch? Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Overwatch. Sure. Why not? Um, he does not have that ability, so I guess we'll just end the turn there. Okay, what if we... I know there's a dude behind there. I saw him. There they are. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try out the shotgun. 83% chance of hitting. We can also do something else with it, right? Kneecap. Hmm. I don't know. 96% chance to hit with the, uh... Uh, can't do that because I don't have enough AP. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's take the shotgun. Actually, we'll just do a standard shot. Uh, and he is not gonna shoot at me. What if we come over here... And we can take a shot. Uh-oh. That's not good. Line of sight blocked. What? Oh, there's Stevie J. I assumed it was going to be a little bit more than that. Um, spray and pray. I don't know who to shoot at. I wanted to shoot at that dude. I'm not sure why my line of sight is blocked from there, but not here. What does this do again? Uh, less chance for critical. Uh, we'll just use a standard shot. Hey, look at that. I hit him. Ow! Jerk store. Ow! Oh, well now he's wide out in the open. What is going on here? Oh, that was a little scary. Manic voice booms are the penthouse PA system. You really think you can come in here and shoot up my place? Do you know who I am? I know who you are. You're the guy I'm going to kill. Okay, can't shoot at him, so I'm actually kind of good where I'm at, I think. Um, let's try... Hmm. 
what to do. Let's, uh, well, let's take Paco. What does that mean anyway? I don't know. Uh, let's try to kill him, because then we can take cover afterwards if I do. Or not. Okay. I'm going to actually draw back here. And then, uh... Switch over to our rifle, which should be, like, a ridiculously good chance. And then... Overwatch? Let's do it like this, I guess. Aim accuracy plus 12%. Ow. You gonna Overwatch? Ah, there we go. Haha, <laughs> nice. Okay, so... Let's swap over to... Shotgun. Oh, that is Stevie J. Let's see if we can kill your buddy here first. Well, that's super lame. Um, so rifle it is then, I guess. Did you kill this dude? Thank you. Uh, what if we do... No. Let's just do a regular shot. Wow. You're horrible. Ow! You miss. You gonna zap me? Ah, you miss as well. Eat it. How about... Uh, what, what are our other choices here? Five attacks in one round that do half or normal damage. 69%. Let's try to kill Thistle. Oh, smoked. Uh-oh, you're out of ammo. And you're not going to get close enough, so let's reload. And then, I guess, move you back in here so you can't be shot at. Uh-oh. Ow! In the face. Um, okay. Guess we'll take this. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. Uh, let's come over here and then see if we can kill Stevie J. All right. But no, I can't with a bloody gurgle. Stevie J is no more. Let's reload. Um, and then let's uh, med kit after that. All right. Then you can come up over here. I don't think there's anybody left to shoot at for the moment. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> take a turn to reload, I guess. Yes, pick up goodies. The late Stevie J's passcodes. Okay, let's come up on cover. Anything? Nope. What about if we take Paco and move him up to where there is no cover? Uh, I guess we'll go there. Yeah, sure. And then over here. See what, if there's anything in this side room. It's not a pier, so. And then Overwatch in that direction, I guess. <clears throat> Not a huge... I guess we'll come and run over behind this. What the? They're doggies. Do I have to go through there? Let's finish clearing the, the room first. Whoa, they get to sh fire at me through the... That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Now you get to fire at nothing, punk. Anything off in this direction? It does not appear so.
Um, this will come over here. Wasn't there a second dog in there? There totally was. Can't do that anymore though, so I guess we'll just do this. That's unfortunate. How about Paco, you come over here and get in the fight. Well, geez. Ow! On fire. Gee, that's not very comforting. Die a horrible death, punk. Do you have a med kit? You do. Seal yourself up. And then we'll have you heal up Avi too. Let's reload. And then take a look at this. <clears throat> this is a stinking jumble of burned flesh and dog flop. Open the door. I wish you weren't on fire anymore. Okay, keep Coyote alive. And kill. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah. <laughs> Swat. <laughs> Gang is wiped out. All right, that's exciting. About time you got here, Paco. Who's your friend? Uh, right now, I'm the lady who's saving your ass. I can see that, and I appreciate it. Coyote, we need to get you back to the Union. Mrs. Kubota has that med lab in the basement. No. Coyote speaks through gritted teeth. No, I need to finish the other thing I came here for. I need to find something for Mr. Delilah first. A stash of gems. Delilah? I thought you said you'd never do another deal with that man. Look, Paco, I need an excuse to come back here and settle some debts. Figured. Figured I might as well get paid for it. She is not looking great. So... Paco, help her get back to the Union. I'll find those gems for you, then meet you there. Coyote looks as about she's argue, but says nothing. Optional five, Stevie stash. Come on, Coyote, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> New objective, return to the seamstress's union, but I'd like to find that stash, so let's do that first. What about over here? Ooh, stuff to look at. Let's look over here. Find a money clip full of new unit med kit. It's just old junk. Some loose new unit. I need to rifle through all his crap, evidently. Do I have to walk down here to... Oh, I can't walk down there anyway, I guess. Uh, let's walk over this way, I guess. See if we can find it somewhere in this junk. Nope, the answer is no. Uh, there was another room back here, I guess. Seems like a silly objective to uh, not do if I'm not going to face any enemies. <laughs> right? Open the door, please. Thank you. Whoa, hello. I say as an enemy comes out to fight me. Ouch! You are getting smoked, you fool. Uh, what if we take... Shoddy? We could swap over to... That. AP minus one so I could shoot. And then move. And then my guess is he won't be able to move and attack. Or am I... Yeah, no, that, that worked out alright. So let's uh, swap back to our machine gun. Probably could have just done that, like, right off the bat, but... Whatever. Check out this room. What can we see? There we go. Filled with precious gems. Alright. Completed that objective, so let's get back to... The Seamstress's Union, yes. 
Return to the Union, despite Coyote's clear desire to stand on her own two feet. Paco needs to help her through the door into the seamstress's union. Heads raised in the front room of the bar f- falls strangely silent. Paco stands by her side now, not speaking. His dark eyes flat with fury. Coyote presses a rag to her clawed up face. She winces but manages to keep control. She breathes in slow, deep breaths to manage the pain. Taking a closer look, you see her arm isn't much more than shreds of meat and broken bone held together by tendons and burned skin. It'll be a miracle if she still has it by the end of the night. Ooh, that's crazy scary and gross <sighs> Miss Kubota is tending bar by uh, herself when Paco walk carries the mangled and bleeding coyote into the union okay coyote's not looking good woman how dare you miss two shifts and then come back with and bleed on my floor sorry Miss Kubota I had a run that went bad so Kai can see that your arm is a mess was this your crusade again? Do not answer. It will only upset me further. You caused me to worry about you, Coyote, and that distracted me from my business. Hi, Miss Kubota. My apologies again. Cherry, take her downstairs to Dr. Castle. Yes, ma'am. And tell Castle to put something new and shiny where that arm used to be. Miss Kubota, I can't afford a cyber arm. I'm aware of your financial situation. When you are healed, we will discuss the concept of uh, Geary, the debt of honor. Now, ble- now go, bleed elsewhere. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, that's enticing. So do I get to get all cyber Her anger at Coyote's rashness slowly washes from her eyes and is replaced by tears. She sniffs, wipes them away, and inclines her head to you. Domo arigato, Mr. Robato. I mean, Avi. That girl is precious to me. It is not often that we see acts like these in the Barrens. You have performed a great service for my little family, and I welcome you into my home. Consider it yours while your work keeps you here. We both know that words are mere air. Beyond my thanks, I offer this. I offer you this remuneration. Please take it as a show of respect. I am honored, Miss Kubota. Thank you. You are most welcome, and I offer more than a simple lodging. You'll find that it is more to the union than meets the eye. Below us is a small facility available exclusively for discriminating independent operatives like yourself. In it, you'll find vendors selling the best gear and the black market has to offer a fully equipped cyber dock and a secure place to rest when the dreck hits the fan, as they say. My, you are quite the entrepreneur. Indeed, normally I require a percentage of the runner's income for use of this facility, but as I said, you are family now. Consider it on the house. To gain interest, play G-A-F-F-C on the piano. Well, we need to make that happen. <clears throat> so I need to find the med bay in the safe house and optionally meet all of the black market vendors in the safe house. First, let's find the piano. Oh, where might the piano be? Oh, there it is. Let's see what Johnny Clean has to say. Uh, seemingly brand new mop cafe is uh, hey Johnny where's the safe house piano's a little out of tune check it out alrighty Mr. Clue the hulking troll bouncer in the immaculate suit stands as impassively as ever the dents of dust on his broad shoulders is the only real indication that the man ever moves he nods you when you approach evening I see Coyote is back looking only a little worse for wear we have to thank you for that. The ha- uh, Paco and I tracked her down. Always wondered what she saw in him, but I guess he ain't all bad. I'm just glad she's back. Couldn't stomach losing anyone else so soon after what happened to Sam. Uh, you feel protective over the people here. Immensely toward anyone who walks through that door, be they employee or patron, unless they mean ill will, of course. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Haven't minded so far. You hear anything else about Sam's death? People are saying it was the Ripper, but people say a lot of things about what they don't know or what they don't understand. You know where I can find a fence? Yeah, I think Van Grass is, is at the bar near the stage. Dwarf with the cyber, I can't miss him. How long have you been working for Miss Kubota? I crawled in here after I got bli- after I awoke. Mrs. Kubota took me in and gave me a job. I've been here ever since. Do you have to pay extra for manicure on hands that big? It's not the size they charge more for. It's the blood under the fingernails. I think I'm going to be going after that, Mr. Clue. Catch you around. So, the piano looks like it's been here since the union was built, but doesn't look like anyone has played it in earnest for almost as long. Play chopsticks. You're a natural. You should give up shadow running and become a touring pianist. Johnny does not look impressed. 
inspect the piano. The piano seems normal until you notice it is very rigid. Upon further investigation, it's because the piano is bolted to the wall. A close look for reveals skid marks indicating the piano slides to the left. Play Gaffic. As you slowly peck out the notes on the keyboard, they spark a faint memory of wonder immediately forgotten as the entire piano slides to the left, revealing a hidden staircase. You descend the staircase into the Union safe house. I think that's actually going to be... Oh. You know what? Oh, I didn't, it has an autosave for me. Never mind, we won't stop yet. <laughs> I was going to say, welcome. No bunks available. What's over here? Oh, it's my stash. That's cool. Okay, confirm. Uh, I don't think we want to talk to Dr. Sarah Castle yet. I want to meet all the vendors. Past the bar, the edge of the safe house becomes somewhat instinct. The man sees a half of his realm, his mind, body. Okay. Good evening, young elf, and welcome to this humble home that we call you. And I am Algeron Half Dream. To ease your way through the sixth world, I offer you the best in magical foci, spell, and fetishes for the conjuring of spirits. Let's see what you have. Yeah, a bunch of stuff that I can't use. Okay. Sounds good. How about Mr. Eric Mersman? Change your clothes, change your life, right? Not only will you look better, not, only, not that you look bad now or anything, but each one will help you keep you on the right side. Take a look. Show me what you have. All right, so armor. Okay. What do we have over here? <clears throat> Theodore Buster Grubman is well-groomed or dressed with precision that suggests, suggests the straight lines of military officer's uniform. Bunker Buster Grubberman at your service. Friends call me Buster. I also answer Sergeant Sir and even Theodore on occasion. Anytime you're in the market for firearms, ammunition, or ordnance, I'm your man. What exactly do you sell here? Things that go bang in all shapes and sizes, plus other odds and ends on occasion. Continue your own personal armory. All weapons are guaranteed to meet strict UCAS military spec or your money back. Okay. That wasn't enough. I also teach a safety and instructional course every weekend. This week we're covering bayonets. Mark my words, they're making a comeback. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's take a look at what you got. Okay. So, low end shotgun, my shotgun, basic assault rifle. Those look like virtually the same thing. Okay, that has a little bit higher capacity. Baseball bat, Doberman, frag grenades, smoke grenades, basic med kits, simple drone repair kits. Okay, great. Wait, let's take another look. What do we have in our drones? Oh, interesting. Required d drone control one. Required data jack. A basic combat drone that every rigger should own at least once in there. Interesting. Nothing right now, thanks. What about you? What do you have? Every inch of the tech alcove is covered in chaotic patchwork quilt of circuit boards, chips, wires, displays, and a million other things that you can't identify in the eye of the tide. Blah, blah, blah. Immaculately dressed. What's a deck? You jack into the matrix or context of a run. When you jack into the local node of the facility you're in, the deck determines how many programs and ESPs you can carry in the firepower of your base matrix tech. Decks have IP. When a deck's IP is resistant to zero, you get booted from the system and it'll hurt. What's a program? Program in the matrix allows you to defend your avatar against countermeasures and enemy deckers. There are a wide variety of different programs for attack and defense at different power levels. As you progress a, as a decker, you can use more powerful versions of these programs. What's an ESP? Johnny, you want to take this one? Sure. When you infiltrate a facility on a run, you have a team. When you jack in the matrix, you are all alone. That's where ESPs come in. An ESP is highly advanced artificial life program, but when you deploy it, manifests as another team member in the matrix. Different types of ESPs have different abilities. Interesting. What do you have for sale? Ah. Required decking one. Interesting. Cyber decks. Required data jack. Required decking three. Decking one. Programs, ESPs, evasions. Hmm. Execute assassin ESP. Attacker ESP. Huh. That's interesting. 
I wonder if we're going to deal with that shortly. Oh, I'm being rude. Let me also introduce you to our resident decker, my good friend Johnny Clean. While well, in the same overalls that you saw men upstairs down here leading over a workbench, crammed with circuit boards, cables, and chips, Johnny Clean seems a totally different person. Glad to see you down here. Happy to be of help if I can be. How's decking used? Decking seal is often just used on terminals in the real world to get information, hackdoors, etc., but occasionally a run will have the option or the requirement to go into the local matrix and land of the facility you're infiltrating in order to gain access to valuable information or control more important things in the real world. Wow, I hope, I'm sure we'll get to play with this, but it sounds really fun and I can't wait to do so. <laughs> Did I stand out upstairs? No, janitors never do. When I was younger, I had a rep for getting in and getting out of systems so cleanly that no one knew I was there. Half the Matrix runs that earned me my rep were made possible because I was able to get inside the facility posing as a janitor. Now it's just sort of part of me. Is it true you're part of the Echo Mirage? Let me take this one. Listen, I've known the guy for over a decade. He's been smart enough not to tell me, so he's sure as sure as not sure as hell is not going to tell you anything about those days. For your health and his, best to let the subject drop. Okay, sounds good. Did I talk to everybody? I don't know. Let me try talking to Johnny Clean again. Since, okay. <clears throat> I don't see anybody else. <clears throat> There's nobody off this way. Score! So I guess we'll talk to Dr. Sarah Castle. That might be the end of it. Yes, talk. Make it quick, I need to operate. Thanks for helping me out back there. Looks like you could use a hand. Ouch, bad joke right now. <laughs> okay, folks, I'm going to have to ask you to go sit in the waiting area, watch some trivet or something. This is young lady and I have work to do. Take it easy, Coyote. We'll be here when you wake up. Who said anything about me going to sleep? Just give me something to bite on. You're a tough kid, but you're not that tough. Okay, Coyote, let's look at your face. Leave it. Excuse me, Coyote. I earned this face by being stupid. I'm going to keep it. End story. Whatever you say, kid. With one swift move, she sticks a syringe in Coyote's thigh. Nighty night. It appears like Coyote is now fine and standing right next to me. Looks both better and worse than you saw her the last time. All the gaping holes are plugged and she's sporting a shiny new cyber arm, but now that the adrenaline is worn off, it's clear she needs some rest. Good morning. Thanks to the miracle of modern science combined with Doc's, Doc Castle's magical healing powers, I'm almost as good as new. Better, really. Can I talk to you for a few minutes? Sam's dead. Holy dreck, Sam. I can't say I'm surprised he was on a downward spiral for a long time. What can I tell you? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> did you like him? I did. He made me laugh. No one else seemed to like Sam's jokes, but I did. No accounting for taste. Sam made some bad jokes. Not when he was sober. He was chill and funny. I guess I knew him the best of everyone here. Sorry he's gone. He served Sam the night he, uh, he was dying. Anything about that night? It was a pretty average night. Regular crowd, as I remember. Sam was drinking with a guy named Armitage. Jake Armitage? Yeah, you know him. Met him. He's a charmer, too. I like gingers. Anyway, Jake and Sam were having a few. Well, Jake was having a few. Sam was tossing them back, but good. Eventually, he got loud, the way some he sometimes did when he mixed drinking and who's no, who knows what, and Miss Kubota wanted him ejected. Mr. Clue wasn't around, can't remember why, so she asked Jake to do the honors. Jake dragged him out of the back into the alley, and that's the last time I saw Sam. He said he got loud. Do you remember what he was saying? Standard Sam, Drek. He knew he how he grew up rich and didn't deserve this, how he hated his mother, how he loved his mother. It was pretty pathetic stuff. Sam have any enemies? Enemies? That's hard to say. Sam partied hard, and when he did, he ran his mouth off pretty good. Got his ass kicked on more than one occasion, but no, I don't think he had any enemies. At least none that I'm aware of. Where did Sam live? On the streets, mostly. He'd occasionally convince someone to let him flop on the couch, but he'd always overstay his welcome and get kicked out after a few days. Sometimes I'd sneak him down here so I could crash in one of the bunks. He used... He used one the night before I saw him last. How bad was his drinking? It was just the drinking. It wouldn't have been bad. Uh, but Sam wasn't the monogamous type. He dabbed in everything. Booze, chips, drugs. He loved the nitro, whatever he could get his hands on. It wasn't always like that, but once he got sick, he started using more and more stuff to try and forget about it. Sam was sick? Dying. Didn't you know? Yeah, everyone could tell. You could just look at him and you see he was a walking corpse. It had to be the drinking. Then he disappeared for a while and one day he came back all better. Looked good, even. All better, just like that. He said his mom helped him out, never said how, though. 
Thanks, Coyote. Now I need you two to do something for me. What do you need, babe? I need you to talk to Mr. Delilah for me about the Royal Run. He's usually upstairs. Tell him I didn't get the gems. Maybe I can take another run at it when I recover. But I did get the gems. What? I'm very confused. Did I not? Mission items. Rare stones. Yeah. Okay. Um... Investigate Sam's bunk and deliver the stones. Okay, so I didn't meet all the vendors, I guess? Let's wait on the bunk. Maybe I need to talk to Dr. Sarah Castle now that she's not busy uh, attaching an arm to someone. I'm Dr. Castle. I understand you're instrumental in bringing Coyote back you, to us. And I suppose you're the one who patched her up. I'm impressed work. You're welcome, Doc. I gotta say, that was some sweet work. High praise for a simple arm swap, especially since she wouldn't let me repair a face. I can tell you're surprised to find a full service med bay under a dive bar in a slum. Don't be, this is a shadow runner bar after all. For a purveyor of cyberware and trauma kits, there's no better place to set up a practice. I patch runners up, install, maintain their cyberware, and provide medical supplies for the runs. I might not be as mobile as Doc Wagon, but I'm the next best thing. Can I help you with anything? Tell me more about trauma kits. Fully automated stabilization units can include a defibrillator, so if you're bleeding out, one of those can get you back on feed. Exactly, but you need to be quick. This is Doc Wagon's old f own field tech, but even their stuff has its limits. Let's see your medical supplies. Okay. Bunch of trauma kits and med kits. Got it. What cyberware do you have available? Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so now's when you can start putting stuff on. Wow, no, I don't really want to do that. Current essence, essence after operation. I don't know what essence means. Okay. Neato. I see shimmery finishes. Are you ashamed to? While modern medical technology makes surgery less disruptive than used to, or deal for both body and they're requiring extensive recuperation to properly heal. I'm trained in the ways of the spirit world as well as the scientific world. I do my best to heal the whole patient. Huh? What's that on your shoulder? This little guy supports the healing rituals I perform on my patients after surgery, dramatically increase or reducing their recovery time. Not standard procedure, of course, but the results speak for themselves. All right. Hey, there. Now I met all of them. Now what else do I have to do? Investigate Sam's bunk. Or I could go and deliver the stones. Let's let's do that. I think she said they were upstairs, right? Right? Deliver the stones to Mr. Delilah. Uh, it doesn't actually give it any more information than that. Mr. Delilah. Let's talk to you. Look small and tough. With, uh, what do you want? We have business to discuss. What business? I got no dis business with you. We're with Coyote. She's indisposed at the moment. He finally gives you his full attention. Why didn't you say so? Coyote is late and my client is getting anxious. Where is she? Downstairs. No kidding. Well, whatever. She's tough. She'll pull through. So who are you two? Uh, this is Coyote's boyfriend, Paco Amaavi. What is this, a romance trid? I don't give a crap about boyfriends. Where's the stones? Ah, I'm, I'm good with giving him the stones. And he inspects them. Late equals no payments. But I'm feeling mag magnanimous tonight, so you guys can keep the rest of the gems as your reward. Okay. Listen, you two look like the sort... Or you look like the sort of one that might run a crew of your own one day. Might need a little talent. When that happens, you come to me. I'll set you up. Looks like you impressed him. I know a fence for those gems. Van Gas, follow me. Okay. Let's find a fence. All right, Mr. Van Grass. Or Van Grass. I'm Van Grass. Make it quick. Biz is good. I can see you're a busy man. 
That's right, and so I wouldn't bother you if I hadn't come into possession of these rare stones. Let's see these rare stones. Hmm. Where'd you get this, Drek? A gumball machine? I'll give you a thousand for them. Oh. I'll think about it. Suit yourself. So, my only choice, ready to unload these stones? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I have no idea how I feel, like, if you're going to come back here or not or anything like that. So, yeah, I got to, uh, I'll take the money when I can. Uh, what's left? We just have to investigate Sam's bunk. And as soon as we hit an autosave after that, we'll uh, call it an episode. Turned out to be quite a bit of exposition here. I didn't think I was going to find my safe house and meet everybody. Uh, not that I'm complaining. Well, the bunk is a mess and reeks of, reeks of booze. Searching through uh, the sheets, blankets, and pillow, you find an old photograph seen a lot of wear. Let's look at the image. Picture is of a blonde boy and girl, both about the age of 14, sitting on a dock at the edge of the lake. Boy has his arm tight around the girl's shoulders and is mugging for the camera. The girl is planting a kiss on his cheek while making rabbit ears beside his head with her fingers. Check the back of the photo. We're in a woman's hand. Sam and Jessica. Like Sam and Mamesh State Park. Alright. So we found a picture. Let's, uh, then what, what do we have to do? Talk to Coyote, I think? Yeah. What do you gotta say, Coyote? <coughs> uh, excuse me. You're back, and I think... I think the highlights of the Wolves game will be on soon. Want to take a load off and watch with me? Found something in the bunk Sam was using. Yeah, great. What was it? A photo. Did you know Sam had a twin sister? Yeah, I did. He mentioned her once or twice. It didn't sound like they got along that well. He was rambling on about her the last time I saw him. By that point, he was completely gone. I couldn't really follow what he was saying, but he sounded miserable. The calm link chips on the screen shows the smiling officer of face of Officer Aguirre. If he's smiling, it must be about money. Are all cops on the take as happy as you? Yeah, we have our own clubhouse and everything. As per our discussion, I'm informing you of yet another Ripper Murr. The victim worked at the NTSB investigation facility down on the docks. You owe me for this. Put it on my tab. You there now? Better get here quick before McCluskey arrives. When John your Bahid EA dissolves his call ends. Another Ripper murder? Where? The docks. I've got to go. Okay, listen, I want to help you drag me out of the Royal before something bad happened. Worse than getting my arm torn off and Sam was my friend. You head to the docks and I'll see if I can track down Sam's sister, Jessica. She might be able to help us. Thanks. I appreciate the help. Take a cab. Yeah. I think so. I think I'm ready for that. I don't know if I should be worried about more important gear at this point, but I didn't have any, uh, there's nothing standing out as being, like, drastically better. It would really be the question of, uh, you know, do, do I want to invest my karma in, like, decking or something like that, to which I have no idea what the right answer is. So, instead of worrying about it, we're just going to take our cab to the South Seattle docks. And that should give us an autosave, which should probably mean this is the end of the episode. Uh, definitely some excitement early on, some more exposition. We have more information to go to track down Sam Watts' killer. Uh, with that, I want to thank you for joining us. If you like this video, definitely give us a like. And if you want to see more of this series or any other series that we're running, Devil May Cry, Dark Souls, uh, Hearthstone, Splunky, all that stuff, definitely make sure you subscribe so you can be let know when it happens. With that, I want to thank you for joining us, and hopefully we will see you next time.